follow the instructions to make a feast for amazing birds in your garden or outside. I hope you enjoy it. How to make an apple bird feeder. The apple bird feeder lets birds sit on the sticks so they can eat the food. This is a quick activity so it should only take you about half an hour. What you need is an apple, string, scissors, two sticks and seeds. I've got pumpkin seeds. Step one is ask an adult to help you make a hole through the middle of the apple or core it. Just like this. Next, you need to get your string and you need to thread it through the hole in your apple. Just like that. We're going to take the end of the string from the bottom of the apple and we're going to lay it down flat. And then we're going to get our two sticks and we're going to put them in an X marks the spot position like that. So you're going to use the string to tie the two sticks together. So we're going to go sideways and tie it together. And then we're going to do top to bottom. So we're going to turn it upside down and then we're going to tie it together like that. And you can always make it a bit stronger, tightening it again. There we go. Next you have to get your seeds, I'm using pumpkin seeds and you want to make a pattern in your apple by pushing them and you can decide where you want to push them in. Don't worry if a few break off. And then just keep going until you've covered your apple. You've done it. It should look something like that. I'm gonna see if it works. Aha, now you've got to decide how long you want the string to tie onto your branch or somewhere outside. Use my scissors to cut the end of my string. Coming up, so I'm choosing a, a lovely tree branch to tie. Double knot again. So look out for the birds that come to eat. You might also want to put some fresh water out for the birds to drink too. This shows you how to make a bird cake. You'll have to be patient as it will take more than a day to complete everything. Need a wooden spoon. A mixing bowl, a plate, some scissors, a knife and some string, a chopping board, pine cones you might find on a nature walk. Then you'll need two handfuls of seeds, I've used pumpkin and sunflower seeds, two handfuls of oats, two handfuls of grated cheese, two handfuls of raisins and a hundred grams of lard or half a block. Okay so your first step is to use a knife to cut the lard into cubes on a chopping board. Ask an adult if you need some help with this. I've left the lard out before I started just to make sure it's nice and soft. And then you need to put it into your bowl. Okay, next you need to add all of these other ingredients. So, seeds in the mixing bowl. Two handfuls of oats, cheese, and the raisins. And then what you can do, you can get your chopping board and then just slide everything else in. Wooden spoon to mix all of the ingredients together. You want it to be squidgy and all combined. Might take you a couple of minutes to do it, so be patient. This is my mashing action. So this is the kind of consistency that you want. 
So I just washed my hands because they were a little bit greasy. But now we're going to get our pine cone and we're going to tie a knot using our string to the top of the pine cone to secure it. I would do two knots just to make it really strong. And then use your scissors to cut the length that you would like it to be. Be careful when you're doing that. So I did another one as well and I used the top of the pine cone as well to make it a little bit stronger. So you might have a little go at doing that too. Okay, so I've got my two pine cones. Now I'm going to use my mix. Now this is a little bit messy as well. So get a plate and put your pine cones on it. So you're going to get some of your mix and you're going to spread it in and over your pine cone. So it's all covered. And voila, it should look something like this. I'm going to wash my hands again with soap. So you're going to get your bird cake and you're going to put it in the fridge. Find a space. Leave it overnight. So take your bird cake out of the fridge. Choose somewhere outside in the shade you want to hang the bird cake up on. That will help to stop the lard from melting. Have a go at taking a photo or videoing visiting birds. My niece and I had to be very quick and quiet. Look out for part two on the MKS YouTube channel. Part two will have information to help you identify birds in your garden or outside. See you soon.